are watching Game Changers, brought to you by the Atlanta Gladiators. We were at a basketball camp for school, summer ball, and I was driving and I tried to dish it to my teammate and my leg just, it went side to side real quick. So I was out for a year and I came back um, last August. It was, it was tough, uh, mentally it, it was really tough. That was the hardest thing, just having to sit, you know, watching it. The days where like you're wondering if you'll be able to come back stronger or be able to play the same or the things that you're good at, will you still be able to be good at them? It was just mentally tough, but my family was there, teammates were there, so. When she came back, I didn't want to see it happen again. You know, it was one of those things that was touching for me because I knew what she brought to the table you know, last year, but I also didn't want her to, I saw so many kids that came back early get hurt last year. Uh, Chanel Wilson, um, McKeecher, and there's probably three kids in the playoffs that tore their ACL again that had a previous ACL tear. And you know, when you're, like she, you know, the kids will tell you, like when we were trying to play for that last game, everybody's playing as hard as they can play, everybody's wanting it a lot. In my mind, I didn't want to see that happen again. And we actually had a kid tear her ACL right before the Elite Eight game, uh, one of my starters. So, you know, for me, I wanted to just see her get back to 100%. And because I know what she brings to the table uh, as far as a leader and, and, and what she can do on the floor, um, I just wanted to get back fully ready to play and not have any hesitation in her mind. It was hard. She's a real, she, she's a kid that puts her heart in everything she does. So, of course, when she couldn't, do what she wanted to it, it. It was hard for her, you know. Going to see her early on in it, you could tell it was, it was weighing in on her. But you know, I've seen a few injuries before, so I knew she'd come back strong. It felt great. Um, I actually did really good my first game back, so I was excited after that. Everything was just, it was, it was great. She's a great motor. She's a, she's a one of the best finishers I've coached in my career, and, and she plays hard all the time. Doesn't take plays off. She's one of the best scorers that you can you can put on the floor. We're very good at getting to the basket. Um, plays hard all the time. Brings an energy level that makes everybody play at a heightened level. So you know, energy and leadership. I think she's going to do extremely well. She, she's a very hard worker, man. First one in the gym, last one to leave. Go home, do homework, go back to the gym. She's that kind of kid. So I think the sky's the limit with that. Great kid, great student. You know, as she says, she's very in the church, a strong Christian takes the initiative and assertive at leading in prayers and different things like that for the team. So she's an ambassador of Christ and great basketball player. I got my first letter in eighth grade. And in ninth grade, I was still getting looked at by some schools. I tore my ACL um, ninth grade summer, so it kind of slowed down. And then this summer, my first AU season back, I got my first offer to North Carolina Greensboro. And they offered me, I took the visit, I love the place. We, we got pretty close every year, and we just kind of would lose that playoff game. But we've been definitely developing, and especially this group, like we've been together since ninth grade, so it's the chemistry is, is better. We're definitely trying to win it this year, take it all the way, win the state championship for 7A.